from e-learning channel museum this time we're going to learn syncopated rhythm with my old story i know you have been playing this song for a long time so you may don't want to play it anymore but just be patient one more week with this song we're going to learn how to play the syncopated rhythm and what is a syncopated rhythm and the right notation for the music Notation means the way of writing the music rhythm. Actually, there is a rule for the writing the music rhythm so that you can read faster and you can play it better. And it's also helpful to play it jazz and popular songs. So with this song, we're going to learn new notation system of the rhythm, syncopated rhythm. Let's see what's the difference between the easy version of my old story and the new version of my old story. Let's go. Now, if you look at the score, you will see the difference between the first song and the second song. Actually, it's the same song, my old story, but the first one is easy version of the old story, which we played it two weeks ago. So everything is consists of quarter note. The second line you will find a little bit different changed rhythm yes that's advanced rhythm of my old story it will just sound like music video this rhythm notation system is seems a little bit harder than the original but if you play both it together it's really confusing because of the syncopated rhythm so now we're gonna look at the syncopated rhythm and the different ways of writing the music notation system. So if you look at the rhythm, first note is quarter, and the second one is eighth note followed by the dotted quarter, and quarter note again. So whenever you see dotted quarter with eighth note, or eighth note with dotted quarter, they are always together. So the easiest way to think of is if is dotted quarter and eighth note 
long short long short long short long short remember this way so the rhythm will be like this but if it's opposite way eighth note and quarter then it's gonna be opposite short long short long One, two, one, two, or one, two, one, two. The same two beats, but these two are as a pair moving together. If you see that way, it's much easier rather than counting one and two and three and four. And of course, if you play it slow, that might help you to play well, but instead of, you know, dividing all the beats, if you see as a big group of the beat, then that's much easier. So the first rhythm is one, two, three, four. Do you remember? The first one is quarter, so that's okay. The second beat is eighth note, followed by the dotted quarter note. So how it's gonna go? Short long. Do you remember since it's eighth and quarter note? Short long, two, four. So if we take it out only that part, show long, two, going like this. So just try to remember the concept of dotted quarter followed by the eighth, or is this eighth note followed by the dotted quarter note? Of course, there will be more like a confusing part, but I can tell half of the rhythm if you think this way, you can solve the rhythm problem. Once you remember the rhythm pattern, then the same rhythm repeats back over and over again, at least within the song. So now we go back to the rhythm again. The first rhythm is eighth note followed by the quarter. So short, long, short, long, got it? So one, two, short, long, four. That's the rhythm pattern. And then the next measure is again, Eighth note followed by the quarter, dotted quarter. So, again, the short long. But this one comes at the first beat. So, one, two, three, four. Got it? So, if you see it as a pattern, that's easy, right? So, first and second measure will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. So see it as a short long, short long, got it? And then if you move it on to the next measure, repeats back the same rhythm pattern, number one. So the same rhythm pattern as the first one, right? And then the next measure is repeating the second rhythm pattern, which is eighth note followed by the quarter note and then two quarters, right? So same rhythm patterns are over and over again. Now let's move it on to the next measure. What is it? Oh, this is a little bit different. Eighth note followed by the quarter, not dotted quarter note. Then, in this case, one of the hardest one. It's a little bit confusing. This rhythm goes one, two, three, four, like this. So one, two, right after you have to play it. Three, four. If we show all the subdivided beat for the quarter note, it will be one and two and three and four and like this. And sometimes to make it easy, what we do, we beamed the eighth note. So beam means you just connect the top tails so that we know it, these two are the pair. And then the next two are the pairs. And then the last two are the pairs too. So that's first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat. So if you look at it as a group, you can see it faster, right? And then the beats are coming one, two, three, four. Yes. Now, what if it's eighth note and quarter and eighth note and half note? Then how do we count? The rhythm will be one and two and three and for and we have to hold it for for eighth note. But what if the eighth note is tied 
to the next half note. Then the same way, but you don't just play the last note. So one and two and three and four and that's the rhythm. This is the music notation system. Now, the, with showing all the eighth note and one and two and three and four and and then tying it, this is actual way of writing the music rhythm. So most of the classical music write this way, but you know later on people think, oh, that's too confusing. People feel comfortable with looking at the eighth note and quarter note and half note. So this rhythm you will see often in jazz music or popular songs, like contemporary music. But in classical music, we prefer to write it eighth note subdivide and then a tide. So this is one of the confusing rhythm. And I will label this one as a number three. Okay, the pattern three. So it goes one, two, three, four. And then if you're looking at the next measure, it's the same, just all the quarter note. And the next one, eighth note tied by the half note. So that's another syncopated rhythm. And then the same melody line comes back again, but in different rhythm. This is pattern four, which is one of the hardest rhythm. If you see the eighth note supposed to be followed by the dotted quarter note or dotted quarter note followed by the eighth note and it become a pair. But if you look at it, after the eighth note, dotted quarter note is very last note. Then they're not paired. Then how are you gonna do? That means, you know, all the way through your beat will be off. Off means not on the one, two, three, four, but instead one, two, three, four. So nothing will be on the beat except the first one. So first one will be on the beat. One, two, three, four. Do you see it? On the beat, there is no music is played. So for this rhythm, if we show with the subdivided beat, this way. Eighth note, one, and two, and three, and four, and do you see? Kind of really confusing. I don't know, maybe some people think, oh, that's easier. At least I can see where is the beat. But anyway, that's two different way of notation. Then the next measure, is quarter quarter and eighth note followed by the dotted quarter note which is kind of easy now right so you can just pair this eighth note with dotted quarter note so one two short long two got it because these two are together and become a two beat for this rhythm if we show as a subdivided beat it will be looks like this the same rhythm looks different one and two and three and four and will be like that up to this we have five different rhythm patterns and if you know all these five different rhythm patterns then you can play a whole entire song because this song is consists of five different patterns now we learned all the rhythm patterns so let's play the song the very opening is accompanimenter so, left hand both starts on the treble clap, left hand is on treble C, and right hand is G and C, E. And do you see this little wiggly mark means you're just breaking up. So, two, three, four, and then the next note F and G, A, C. So if you see it, these two are skip and then step down so you have another wiggly mark broken chord two three four tied two three four and then the next note is e and b c g again breaking up two three four the next note is f and g a that's a second and then another skip so two tied two and then your eighth note starts with your left hand three four so this is kind of confusing 
So it has to be after the second beat. Two, three, four. Got it? Remember it this way. And then the next measure, just stepping off to G and a right hand, D, F, C. One, two, three, four. So that's the accompaniment term and as your song starts from here. One, two, three, four. 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 Left hand. And this is just soft. And one, two, three, four. See? So that's off beat all the way through. And then the next rhythm pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the same rhythm pattern as the previous one, right? And then one, two, three, four. This is the second rhythm pattern, right? And then the next note is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up to here. So basically the same rhythm pattern repeated over and over again. Now just left hand chords changed. But you know all the left hands already, right? Left hand will be exactly the same as the previous song. Only the difference is right hand rhythm. If you know the right hand rhythm, then it's much easier. So it means we already know the whole song. So, if you see it as a groove or see it as a pattern of the rhythm, then it comes really easy, right? So I will play it a little faster rhythm in the whole entire song. Two. 
the rhythm gets easier, right? Of course, the right hand there is a little more added note, but still moving the same melody line. So that's not that problem. See it as a group of the notes. If you see the eighth note followed by dotted quarter note, then it will be short long, short long. Or if you see dotted quarter note followed by the eighth note, it will be long, short, long, short. So see it as pair. And also if you see the same rhythm patterns in a different song, you can recognize right away what kind of pattern it is. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this song. And I will add a new song next week. It's Christmas time. So I will teach you some fun Christmas music so that you can enjoy your holiday season. And I hope you stay warm and we'll see you next week. Bye!